Our last lesson in OneDrive is a bit of a specific business process, and it is all about requesting files from other people. Now you know because you've been through this OneDrive chapter that we could always you know, choose a folder, such as, let's say, Modern Workplace, and we can share that folder with people, give them edit access so they can drop files in there too. But the, the problem with sharing a folder with edit access is that, you know, Mary is going to see the same files that Adele sees in there. Like they're seeing each other's submissions. Nothing is private, right? If you give edit access, they can see and change other people's things. So not an issue for a lot of collaborative processes, but imagine when you're asking people to submit forms and you're saying, once you've completed this digital form, drop it in this folder. Well, Mary probably shouldn't see anybody else's personal identifying information, right? No employee ID numbers or social security numbers, uh, especially HR processes, thinking about direct deposit and benefits and all of that. So to be a little more secure, rather than to share edit access to a folder, we can actually create a new folder specifically for this process. So I'm going to call it request files and create. Okay, and the, the intention is that this folder will be used for secure requests for files. So how we do this is we actually select the folder instead of clicking share, and you'll notice that there's a button up here for request files. I choose request files, I say uh, digital forms, I'm being kind of vague here, but just imagine you know, any kind of forms that you have, or maybe it's even something fun like contest submissions, photo contest or whatever, holiday quizzes, you know, whatever the case is, where people shouldn't really see anybody else's. And you can also do this outside your company. So you can send this you know, on social media or on a website and know that people can submit information to you without seeing anybody else's. So in this case, I'm going to say just digital forms and click on next. Right, and here's the link people can use. So I'm going to copy that. I'm not going to send it to anybody in an email though. Now let's pretend you're a complete stranger and you get this link from an email or maybe you click it on their public website. I'll show you what you'll see. Here we go. So I can see the name of the company. That's about it up here at the top. I can see who's requesting the file. So Megan is requesting files for and then whatever I just typed. So digital forms in this case. So I'll select my files as a complete random person who just happened to want to participate in this process. Maybe there's a couple. I'll do a PowerPoint and a Word doc. I click open and I say my name is Nate Chamberlain. Now before I submit, I can add more files or delete something I've already added here. I can see the total size that's about to be uploaded. And when I'm happy, I click upload. Now it doesn't take very long for that small of a, a file load. But now it says, hey Nate, your upload was successful. We'll let Megan know that you uploaded files. So notice as Nate, he can't see what he just added. And if he clicks on upload more, he doesn't see the previous files either. It's literally like a Dropbox or a secure file transfer. And he just drops them in there and then he's done. And that's the end of his part in this uh, process. Let's upload two more files again as Nate and see what happens. So periodically, Megan's going to get an email that shows her uploads to that folder. And we can see both Nate's first two files and his last two here. She can then click See New Files to take her directly to that folder to work with those files, maybe move them to another location, or finish the business process. We can see when each file was uploaded, and we also see whatever the person types as their first and last name becomes the prefix to the file name. So we can easily look later to see who submitted what. So that's the process of requesting files, uploading files to that person requesting, and then how that person receives those files and can work with them going forward. It's a really convenient business process. It's nice from a security perspective, and hopefully it's something you'll find useful in your own work. This is the last lesson of the OneDrive chapter. So next, you'll take a quiz to test the skills and knowledge that you've gained in these last 10 lessons before moving on to our next chapter on SharePoint.